uncomfortable. Goodness. Whew. Okay. Talk to us. Hi. We are. Hi, everybody. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> it's so funny because I just purchased one of the journals, uh, tuned in, tapped and turned on, and I wrote, thank you, because I sat at the hot seat. I just wrote it <laughs> like an hour ago, and it's... Wow. So... Wow. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, um, share that. And connect those dots. That's yes. the point. Connect those dots. Yes. Now, everybody else thinks you're lying. Yes. I could show them. I could show y'all. <laughs> We're just playing. But you know, you know, and so you connect those dots and you know something more clearly than you knew it before. That's how it works. The universe affirms your vibration constantly. That's how you learn to emit a deliberate vibration. Yeah. So what do you want to talk about? Okay. So connected to the story of the marbles, which is really uh, amazing about like what you bring in. Um, some years ago, I heard a song that specifies that <laughs> silly, but the lyrics say like, I never pay for my drinks. Right. And after I heard that song, I don't know why, this was years ago. I, I, I was like, yeah, I never pay for my drinks. So whenever I do go out, there's always somebody, not all the time, but the majority of the time, that offers to, you know, whether it's a shot or, or even like a, a bottle of water. And I have no doubts, no resistance about it. Like, I just flow into it. Um, well, let's talk about it briefly been doing it for a while there's momentum about it there's expectation about it and it's a solid marble in your bag yes so good for you which is great yeah wonderful he's an alcoholic so for me is if a, a, a silly pop song with with you know that lyric was able to shift what i've been continuously manifesting did it shift or did you rendezvous with it Rendezvous. Rendezvoused with it. So it was a lyric that you heard because it rendezvoused with something in you. Mm. What's that something in you? Put more words around that. Um, that. I manifest what I want. Right. Okay. Yeah, and now there's that. lots of marbles around that. I have a lot of fun and people like that. I bring a lot to the party and people like that. Mm. Positive expectation always pays off for me. In other words, there are so many things that go right along with that. But we can just leave it with these simple words. That was an easy existing match. So, where are you headed with this? So, I would like to rendezvous with words in the same way that would uh, make it easy for me to manifest things when it comes to mating and money. But see, that's where it gets dicey. Because now, when you try to put that marble in the bag, it just bounces out. Or it doesn't bounce out. It bees what it bees. So here's our question to you. Do you think that it would be more effective for you to take that marble that doesn't work like the other one and manage it, wrestle it to the ground and kill it, really work hard on it? Or is it better for you just to focus on People buy me drinks. <laughs> now, stay with us just a little bit. What's the existing match? If you're not trying to think it into being. So I have some questions for you. Okay. So do you think that in your not having that significant other in your life right now, mm -hmm. that you have launched rockets of desire? Yes. And they've gone to your vortex? Yes. You understand what we mean by that? So now think of that vortex newly today as that bag of marbles that we were talking about. And think how many perfect mates you've put into that bag of marbles. The only question is, are you a match to your bag of marbles? No, you are not. And when you try to force it, it doesn't work. So what do you do? You activate what's easy to activate and let the law of attraction, because the law of attraction knows your inner being holds for you. Focus on this mate that you're wanting to 
manifest. Mm. So if you just don't get in the way of that by noticing that it hasn't happened, can you not think about something because it makes me uneasy when I think about it. So I'm just going to render that inactive for me for a little while and just trust that my vortex bag of marbles has got it going on. And I don't have to wrestle that to the ground. What else is in your bag of marbles when you walk into whatever atmosphere where you're hoping to meet someone? Identify for us some other things that are easy existing matches. Can you elaborate a bit on that? Well, when you walk into that place, is the only thing you're looking for is a drink? No. <laughs> so what else? What else are you looking for? Honestly, when you... uh, have fun, laugh, dance. So go slow. So is there a fun marble in there? Yes. So now you got a people buy me drinks and the fun marble. That looks like the makings of a pretty interesting matchup, doesn't it? What else? Did you say dance? Dance. Mm, there they are. Those are all easy. Are you getting this? If you don't try to drag to find the perfect mate marble in, it's not the marble that you want. It's the where is he marble been too long marble time's a wasting marble <laughs> working for other people and not for me marble what's wrong with me marble so if you just don't try to bring the marble that doesn't work with you or even if it's in the bag let's be real it's in the bag but you don't have to make it alive right now you don't have to activate it so here's the question to you can you walk in to the atmospheric field where law of attraction is responding? And can you have practiced the, I'm going to get a drink and I'm going to have a lot of fun and I sure do like to dance. Can you let that be dominantly what you activate? Because if you can, then other marbles that are in your vortex bag are just going to activate. They're just going to light right up because you're not doing that thing you do that keeps the end of the stick that you want to be active to be active does this making sense to you it's like the difference between um, trying too hard inspired action and trying. and motivation and so often when you're not on the right vibe and you're trying to make it happen that is so off-putting off-putting to you off-putting to everyone else off-putting that's not win-win that's lose-lose so Abraham what are you saying are you saying that we should not work so hard on the things that aren't working? Exactly! <laughs> because when you work hard on the things that aren't working, you bring all those not working marbles active in your bag, and then your bag of marbles is just repelling all the things that you want. And you know how that feels, don't you? You see that person over there? And he goes over there to that other person. What's up with that? What's wrong with my bag of marbles? nothing you just want to clarify it by activating the ones that you know you can activate and you know how you do that you feel good you feel good when you think about them you don't try too hard I guess I just um, I would like like the reassurance like that same confidence no. I know like when I go out I'm like we're not gonna give that to you we're not going to oh, well. make you the one exception to the law of attraction how would that serve you yeah you can take any marbles you want into the room and you can still get what you want no no activate the marbles that match what you want and stop complaining about getting stuff you don't want because you haven't focused that's all do the vibrational work focus and how do you know you've hit the jackpot oh, that was fun when you were telling us the story about the drink, everybody got that. Everybody understood that. They all wanted to buy you a drink. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next